Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is Azure Sentinel and how to configure Azure Sentinel. So I hope uh, you're liking all the videos that I am making. So before anything else, let's quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, we are logged on to the portal and so Azure Sentinel is like a bird's eye view across all the enterprise that we have set up on the Azure. Now put the cloud and large scale intelligence from decades of Microsoft security experience to work. Make your threat detection and response smarter and faster with artificial intelligence. So, but how will you configure it? So to onboard Azure Sentinel, you first need to enable Azure Sentinel and then connect your data sources. Azure Sentinel comes with a number of connectors for Microsoft solutions available out of the box and providing real-time integration, including Microsoft Threat Protection Solutions, Microsoft 365 sources, including Office 365, Azure AD, Azure ATP, and Microsoft Cloud App Security, and more. In addition, there are built-in connectors to the broader security ecosystem for non-Microsoft solutions. You can also use common event format, syslog or REST API to connect your data sources with Azure Sentinel. And after you connect your data sources, choose from a gallery of expertly created workbooks that surface insights based on your data. These workbooks can be easily customized as per our needs. So how will you enable Azure Sentinel? In the search box, type in Sentinel here, you see Azure Sentinel, click on it. It says no Azure Sentinel workspace to display. Use Azure Sentinel to easily aggregate security data generated by endpoint devices, network infra and other security system. Then leverage it to detect and respond to threats in your environment. Right, so I do not have a workspace here. I will, I will click on an add here. Choose the workspace to add to Azure Sentinel. I'm going to click on create a new workspace. Okay, I'm going to create a new resource group. Test Sentinel RG. Okay, and let's uh, give it. I'm going to place it RG here. Sentinel here. Okay. So the name of my resource group is test assert Sentinel RG. And the name of my instance of the workspace is test assert Sentinel WPC. So I'm creating this as a workspace and I'm going to go with East US location. Next, I'm going to go with the pricing tier. So there is a note. Default workspaces created by Azure Security Center will not appear in the list because you can't install Azure Sentinel on them. Azure Sentinel can run on workspaces in any geographical available region of log analytics except the China, Germany, and Azure government regions. Data generated by Azure Sentinel, such as incident bookmarks, alert rules which may connect some customer data source from these workspaces is saved either in West Europe or workspaces located in Europe or East US for all US based workspaces, right? So I'm going to go with the pricing tier. I'm going to go with the one option that is available to me. I do not want to select any tags. I'm going to click on create a review. This is just the log analytics workspace that I am creating. I'm going to click on create. It will initialize the deployment. Okay, now you see that my workspace is created. Now, once the, was, once the workspace has been created, I'm going to click on Add Azure Sentinel. Click on here. It is adding Azure Sentinel to my workspace. Let me pause it and come back. All right. It says uh, Cloud Native. SIEM to help you focus on what matters the most. Go and read more about it. You will find it really, really interesting. Now, how do you connect data sources? 
to Azure Sentinel. So Azure Sentinel creates connections to services and apps by connecting to the service and forwarding the events and logs to Azure Sentinel. For machines and virtual machines, you can install the Azure Sentinel agent that collects the logs and forward them to Azure Sentinel. For firewalls and proxies, Azure Sentinel utilizes a Linux syslog server. The agent is installed, uh, collects the log files and forwards them to Azure Sentinel. So if you would uh, go to your log analytics workspace, go to your portal and look out for this workspace go on to it that we created at the beginning of this video now if you would see the uh, menu and you look for data connector let me type in here okay Am I not kidding? And give me one minute. I'm sorry, I had to look on as your Sentinel. I was looking at the workspace level. Here it is, your data connector and the configuration. It is your uh, options now. So this page lets you see the full list of connectors that Azure Sentinel provides and their status. So you can select Azure Activity here. Here it is. Click on Azure Activity. Select Azure Activity and you click on Open Connector page. And now you can click on Configure Azure Activity Logs. You select your subscription. You click on Connect and your Activity Log would be connected. And now on the specific connector page, make sure that you have fulfilled all the prerequisite and follow the instructions to connect the data to the Azure Sentinel. It may take some time for the logs to start syncing with Azure Sentinel. After you connect, you see a summary of the data in the data receive graph. And then you can uh, select the subscription, whatever subscription you have, like I have pay as you go, and you click on connect, right? So that is how you configure the Azure Sentinel to gather all the information through the workspace to the Azure Sentinel and then act on it. I hope you liked this video. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section and I see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.